Hey guys, back with another Roof for Marketing Strategy. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. I hope that it is being a benefit to you. That is why it is here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys all about building your personal brand within obviously building the brand of whatever company or whatever team you're on, etc. right? And what's the difference? Because you're probably thinking, well, if I'm, and this is a little bit different for a sales rep versus an owner versus a manager, et cetera. Because if you're an owner, you may think, well, my personal brand is my business's brand. And you are correct. If you're an owner and your last name is associated with your business, then yes, your personal brand is highly tied to your business's brand. Absolutely, in the way in which you move throughout the world, the way in which you are represented and you have represented your name within the community is going to often have um, is going to often run parallel to the reputation of your brand and the relationship that your brand has with the community as well, right? On the flip side of that coin, what if you're a sales rep or what if you're an individual that's needs to build their own brand under the umbrella of another company's brand, right? And, and you're probably thinking, is it important if I'm just a sales rep to build my own personal brand? Like what, what good would that even do for me? Well, it would do a lot of good for you, right? Because having your own personal brand shows within the industry, but also within whatever team you're on, whatever sales team you're on, you know, each individual has their own characteristics that are different strengths than what other people have. You have those same strengths. Developing yourself as a sales rep on someone else's team, but with your own brand is doing things a little bit differently in your own way and being recognized for those things being done in your own way, right? So let me give you some examples of personal brands and different ways in which you can kind of build this out for yourself. So, and it's so cheesy. The first, the first example that comes to my head, I was working an internship at a hospital where we were, uh, we were rebuilding and renovating the chemo centers inside of a hospital in Denver when I was an intern. I was working for Turner Construction at the time. So that was what the product that we were doing. There was a woman on the board of the hospital that had the whitest teeth. I forget what her last name is, but her first name is Kate. And she had the whitest teeth. It's been six, seven, eight years since that. And I remember her from this one characteristic, right? And there's probably lasting characteristics that stick out in your mind when you think about just about anyone. Well, you have those two, right? When people think about you, what are the characteristics that people think of right away when they think of you? And if they are characteristics that have a pos that have a positive association with them, if I were you, I would choose to lean on those characteristics, lean on those strengths. Yes, this woman had incredibly white teeth. What like that's a positive reference, right? When we were when we were sitting at the table, I remember I asked my boss that I was with, like, who was that woman with really white teeth, right? It's a positive indicator of who you are as an individual. So that's a part of her personal brand that she was building. Unconsciously, she was getting to be known within the group that we were in as the woman with really white teeth. Now that may be kind of silly because it's more of a physical characteristic or attribute to building your personal brand, which are important, right? Everyone knows how important smiling is. That's a physical attribute. However, there are also other attributes of building your personal brand that are not physical, right? That are like someone's charismatic, someone's bubbly, someone's communicative, right? Someone's really great at communicating. If that's, if, if you, you know, if you've got a group of friends, you're like, how would you guys describe me to someone that's not yet met me? And they said, I don't know, I would say, I would, you're so good with your communication. Well, then when you're creating a personal brand, be great at communication. Be the person that's texting confirmations and that's always in communication with every single person that they need to be. Build your personal brand around that and then people will begin to be 
wow, this person is so great with communication and you'll begin to build out your brand in that way as well. So having a personal brand doesn't need to look like, oh, I'm this person and I'm the best surfer or this, this. Having a personal brand is being known for positive characteristics. I would recommend positive characteristics, right? You can also build a personal brand where you're known, where you're known for stealing people's things and lying and cheating. That's also per a personal brand. Or you can build a personal brand of keeping your word, being on time, smelling like sweet cinnamon, you know, but this is what I, so we want to be over here, not over here. <laughs> so I hope that this is of help to you guys when you're, when you're trying to develop your personal brand or you're not really sure where to start, I would encourage you to ask those around you how they would describe you because even if that doesn't give you the exact characteristics that you're looking for, it will narrow them into ways in which people already see you and then you can really just lean on into that. So I hope that this was of help to you guys. If you have any questions or need any help with anything, please feel free to reach out. As always, take care of you and your crew and roof on.